Hello. Yes, it's clear. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, sir. Let everyone join in. How was your exam, friends? Let everyone join in. I'm just... Give me two minutes. I'll just uh, share across the suggested answer and uh, wrong i'm not able to send the file give me a minute Just one moment, friends. I'll just share the file here. Something is going wrong. I'm not able to upload it. Okay, one thing shared. All right. I hope I'm audible to all of you, right? Yes, sir. So most of the sum was from the sums covered in the class, is it? Rita, it was miserable. Good, it's miserable here itself. If it's miserable in the examination hall, is even more trouble for all of you. Finally, I've got the file here. I'll just save it and upload it in the app also so that you all can view it comfortably. Answers Forex. Perfect. I'll just share my screen first and we'll start off with the session right now. So friends, please be ready with a pen and a paper. Anirudh, you were able to attempt only 56 marks. Now that's where the solution lies, Anirudh. Do the same paper again. Don't do any other paper. First, let's master one paper properly. Write the same paper until you finish the entire paper in three hours of time and you score at least 80-85% marks. Then automatically you'll understand that the same paper can actually become easy for all of you also. All right. Yes. Now let's do one thing. I'll start off with the paper. This is the first question. Or what I'll do is I'll just take the app and I'll take one of the students' suggested answer as I always do. Yes, so we have done it in the SFM mentoring batch. Okay, so here I'll take the assignments, SFM test for X. Friends, only 15 people have submitted. That's a less number. I request others also to please submit this. I will take one suggested answers. Whose answer should I take here, friends? Anybody voluntary? Or should I take randomly? I'll do one thing. I will take Veena Vijayan. Are you there live? Tell me a hi if you are live. Anirudh, you want to take yours? 
Okay, I have taken Veena's right now. Let me open Anirudh's paper also. Veena, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay, I have taken your paper. Okay, and I'm taking Anirudh's paper also. So parallelly, we can check two papers and see how the answers are written for each of the questions. All right. Yes, I'm starting with Veena's uh, suggested paper. All right. Okay, handwriting wise, it's decent enough. Particulars S1, E1. So first question is a question on call option and a put option. Basically a question on options, a very easy question, friends. If this question comes, you should score full four upon four. All right. Ashwini, I've taken two. Yours will do it for the next one. Okay. Now here, if I see, uh, you have written it well. S1, E1, buy a call, right to buy at 110 outside market. Labs, right to buy at 90. Right to sell at 90 outside market, 100 laps. So you make a net gain. Why do you make a net gain? Is it a call writer? Veena, there's a mistake here. Hold on. Let me check. Premium. Uh, sir, actually, that's low. So I wrote it wrongly. And below, I gave it a total loss. Effect. Oh, up you wrote it as gain. Correct. Now the value is really confused. What has to be done? Please be careful about these mistakes. Okay, friends. <laughs> All right. Uh, for my valuation purpose, I'll strike off the whole marks because uh, or you've written net gain, you've done it in minus, correct? But then again, down you have written in plus. It's a total mess over here, Veena. So you don't give marks for the working note number one. All right. Let's check Anirudh. Anirudh, you have done it in a different style, call option premium, call option exercise price, put option premium. That's a basic data. Okay. Determination of profit or loss under different scenarios. Is this a separate working note, Anirudh? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, then you need to mention, you need to mention W and 1. See, this should look like a heading, correct? Give an underlying yes, what you have done, okay, okay. Left space here, again, you have left space over here. So when you leave too much of spaces also, that's a problem because the person who is reading through it, so you have left some space here. Then you have again some space left over here. Correct. So again, some space left over here. That doesn't look very professional. You should ideally just give one line over here and underline this heading. Got it? So okay, that, sure, sure. Very, very clear for the people who are reading through it. Okay. Even here, you have just written like this, but ideally what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to underline this also, but, uh, okay. 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 Yes, sir. I will do. I will do. Yes, okay. sir. Now let me come down. Hold on. Right. Let me come down now. Call price. You've got a loss. Spot price is a premium action gain or loss. Loss. Total 10 rupee loss. But I think the answer is not 10 rupees. 6.5 loss. 16.5 and, right? 6 and the only mistake I have done is in this. I have written down there actually. Total okay. loss I have mentioned. Okay, okay. Presentation you have to improve a little bit. Okay, it becomes difficult for the value to read through this. All right, not sure, sir. Sure, sure. Loss will be 16,000. You have written it correctly, but the answer is right. The price falls to 70 after three months. 3,500 will be your gain. Your answer is right. Veena, you have got the second part correct. Give yourself full mark for the second part. The price rises to 138. It turns out to be 11.5 or 11,500. Even you have got 11,500. So do one thing. This question has come for four marks. Am I right? So from this four marks, when you give yourself marks, you do one thing. You are having three requirements over here. All right. Each requirement you give a uh, 1.25. Okay, so 1.25 total, you give 3.75 marks you give for this question. All right. Ashwini, let me upload it right away now. I will upload it here. Okay. Done, uploaded. Okay. Done. Okay, I have to change the date. Okay. If you forgot to multiply the number of shares, so now you can cut half mark over it. Okay. Right. So question number one is done. Let me go to question number two now. Question number two is a question that we have done in our class. It's a question on swap points. 
Pay now, bid rate. This thing you have got six zero seven one two six four zero two five two five point zero two A plus B divided by two C divided by D. That is a premium. This minus this will be the premium only, right? Okay, correct. Divided by D. D is the average rate. Good. You have to do it to twelve by two point five. Vina, you haven't done that. You can cut one mark for that. Okay. Now let's check for Anirudhin. Anirudhin fifteen. One sixty. 115, 138. One zero one one five. Is there another? Yes, you have written it correctly, Anirudh. Plus 0.0833. Okay. All right. Okay. See, you have written the plus part. That will be one of the things. The other one will be minus also. All right. So this question okay. is having how many marks? Six marks, and you have three requirements. Correct. Each requirement you can give th two marks each. All right. Each requirement two marks each. So please give yourself marks. Rita, that is the answer. Rita, can you please unmute? This answer is incorrect, is it? This point zero eight three three is the answer. That's because you have done twelve divided by two point five. I think Vina has forgotten to do that alone. Rest everything looks to be correct to me. I have uploaded the wrong answer in the app. Is it amazing? I have done some other. I think you've uploaded the question paper again. Is it great? Forex suggested answer. Please check now, Rita. I think it's done, right? Okay. So please give yourself marks for this questions accordingly, friends. Sure. If we forgot to take it for a. Uh... Oh, annual basis, how much to be cut, sir? Last requirement is two marks, right? Cut one mark out of that. Okay, sir. Sir, one more doubt, sir. In the first question, like I did all the call together, but I didn't, uh, like I found for each situation, what was the net loss per share, I mean per option. And then in the end, I took call and put for each situation and found the thing. Is that presentation okay? Answer wise correct, but presentation wise difficult for the person reading through it to understand the whole thing. Okay, sir. Okay. So we should do all has, together. If the person has patience, he'll give you full marks. But why to take chance? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. All right. Thank you. You are correcting our paper and your intention. Sapna, why am I intention? All right. Are you all done with question number two? Question number three. Shall we go to question number three now? Okay. So question number three is a question on international financial management. Again, a question we have done in class. So these questions are all very much from our material, is it? I told my team to put the tough questions. They have taken everything from my material. Did I upload the wrong paper once again, Sapna, or did I correct it this time? Again, I upload the wrong paper. Please don't confuse me. I think this time it is correct only. Yes. So correct only. So I said uh, yes, sir, for the question which you had asked. Uh, okay. Question number three. Okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Fine. So this question we have done in our class. It's a question on international capital budgeting. All right. Yes. I just, uh, no, Sarvamal, I didn't say reply to you. I told to uh, Sopna. She said no, right? So I just got a bit confused. All right. We'll get back to the question now. So question number three, let me see how Veena has solved it. Million, 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 525. Sir, I couldn't complete that question. That's okay. Your, your presentation is good, Veena. You know, we feel like reading through it. Okay. So that gives an added advantage with the space or spacing, how you're writing it is very good. All right. But you didn't complete it. You stopped it midway, Veena. What happened? Sir, I uh, kept that question for the last and... Due to time constraints, I could. In the end, you did not get time. But one minute, if you kept it to the for the last, there has to be one more page in between, right? Yes, sir. I scanned uh, only the pages I wrote. Oh, that's a good advantage you people have. Okay, 
Let me check Anirudh's paper. Anirudh, how have you done it? Investment total. See, you have put 490, 60. Where is the total of this? And it's not supposed to be 60. Very, very left. You also left this question, is it? Sir, I have just... Yes, sir. I have just written the basic debt. I actually, in this first thing, I written the question itself fully, sir. After that, I in separate working notes, I have... The scanning was wrong, actually. Okay. Yeah, 525 has come here. Okay. 2 million, 2.5. Contribution loss. How did you get this contribution loss of 20? That uh, very, uh, contribution is uh, 50 minus 40. 90 minus 50 is equal to 40 into 0. 0.5, 20. Yeah, but see, is it readable for me? Yes, sir. No. In a hurry. In a hurry, sir. Hurry, the value also will go in hurry. Please be very careful about that. See, look at this. What okay, happens? Sir, sir. 2 minus 1.5. 0. 0.5 million. All right. You need to just work on the presentation part, Anirudh. Okay. I'm telling this because I want you to score the best marks in the exam. All right. And where is sure, point sir. A, That's point B, point C, etc.? Yes, sir. I will Learn work on it, sir. Right? Definitely, sir. Please, please do yeah. all that. Sure, sir. Thank you. You have to write down. Okay. Now, let me just go through it. Have you completely right written it? Now, 525 is correct. 20 is not right according to me. 90 minus 50, is it? 90 minus 50 into 0.5. That is a reduction. I don't remember the number. Let me check the solution and check. 1.5, the export has been decreased to 1.5. So 2 minus 1.5, 0.5 is the reduction. That is 60. That's where I am. No, I'll tell you what's the mistake you have done. Okay. $90 into 5 million. $30 into 5 million. Contribution lost, where have you taken? Now, there's a mistake there. I'll tell you what, 90 minus 50 into, you can't take it like that because, see, when you're selling it locally, it is only 30. It is not 50. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, that's gone. Zero. So, you lose the whole marks out of this. I hope you got it. Sure, sir. Okay, right. So, yes, sir, yes, this yes. question, this question, I'll tell you how many marks is it? Six marks, is it? You have six marks. So, you have three steps. Initial outlay. In between terminal and then you have NPV. Okay. Initial outlay, you can give one mark. In between, you have to give two marks. Terminal, you can give another two marks. Yeah. Sorry. You give initial one mark. In between, we can give yeah, two marks. Then you can give one and a half marks for terminal and one and a half marks for NPV. Sir, show the NPV table, please. Yes, yes. Done. Can I go to the next one? One moment, friends. Sir, a small doubt in this question, sir. Yes, yes. Tell me. Uh, sir, here they are told that their production capacity is 5 million, no, sir. So, we are assuming they can even be selling 5 million in India. Yes, uh, 5 million, is it? Just yes. Sir, it's production capacity of proposed... Yes, so we are assuming that the production capacity is equal to the actual uh, you know, sale that is possible in India. Okay, sir. That's an assumption that they are having. Okay. 
friends has one particular doubt is there some okay 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 yes now it is clear i think i got it okay yes friends shall i go to the next part now okay so we are done with this question okay can i go to the next one question number 4 4 is a question from november rtp friends i am going to go live to do november rtp very soon please be in touch i will announce everything okay right so this is question number 4 there is a table which you are supposed to solve let's check how many of you have done it correctly veena 7.02 it's a question on irpt 12.5 is right 7.19 is also correct veena you have not done the third part anirudh let's check yours what rate is there 7.79 doesn't yeah that is 7.19 should be the answer that, that is the rate right, uh, yes sir correct correct you have done it right then there is 12.5 you have written the basic data here spot rate this is given forward rate 7.19 7.79 percentages the percentage of the last one is it 6.3 yes, is also correct 6.3 is also correct rank interest rate last one you get i don't remember 13.15 let's cross check here three months you got 7.19 frank per dollar six months you have got discount as 8.45% when i show the final conclusion they would have had a table in the end yes this table will provide everything 11 and a half 19 and a half 7.19 and here it's 8% or 7.04 6.3 7.52 these are the answers so you got 7.19 we have stopped it here anirudh for the last one you got 12.5% that's also correct according to me yes 12.5% uh, so once you get all these things correct you can see there are how many 1 2 3 4 you have five six requirements are there in total and this question is having eight marks so you can give 1.25 marks per requirement 1.25 marks per requirement please give yourself marks i just come back in a minute friends please could you please show the answer Yes, friends. I am back now. Okay. Can I go to the next question? Question number five. Five is a very good question from May twenty three RTP, friends. This question. This question had come then. Uh, so they had asked about appreciation, depreciation. It's a slightly tricky problem also. IRPT is used, but what they have done is they have given Sensex one year ago, and they have given you the Sensex one. now so one will be the real value other one will be the money value so the, all that has to be considered for appreciation depreciation etc here the answer goes like this you have the sensex value etc given okay so uh, based on this you get see size of investment is 20 lakhs the exchange rate is 42.5 so indian money will be 850 lakhs sensex at time zero was 3256 so you get to know the number of units that's purchased closing sensex is 3765 then they multiply to get the closing value and then the closing exchange rate so that gives you the rupee value over here so then you get the nominal rate of return that is after considering p0 in rupee p1 also in rupee you get the answer as 11.94% friends this answer is there in my youtube 
if you go through the rtp question just take my uh, video rtp may 23 okay not here it's in my youtube channel if you search you get that video okay if you just search tarun jagdish rtp i believe the answer will come up yes this playlist is there right rtp may 23 if you click on this you get the entire rtp solved problem wise so in this one of the problems that we are solving is that uh, question that has come on the forex part right? All right good afternoon everyone that's me portfolio mutual fund derivatives derivatives foreign exchange i think it's this question loan amount 2 million either this or this there's foreign exchange is written international finance is also written so where either one of these will be the question all right these are all may 23 rtp problems that we are solving over here if indian this question is what we just now did corporate valuation it will be there somewhere inside this friend so when you are free just go through this it's a may 23 rtp question all right yes so here the answer is given 11.94% let me check if anybody got that answer right Sir, I took it in dollars. Is it fine, sir? Ah, uh, nominal yes. rate has to be done in rupees because only then the impact of inflation etc. will come up. So no, sir. Last I not only the first part I was I converted it into rupees and then found number of units and then again ah uh, I found the rupees return which will be P one and then converted to dollars and then found the returns. So what is the answer? Did you get the same? I percentage? got eleven point nine five, sir. Then it's fine. You can do it. However, ultimately that impact should come. That's the only objective over here. Okay, right, fine. So, what about you, Anirudh? Did you get the answer? Fifteen point three six is the answer. What you got? Only one answer. Record correct. Sir. The two fifteen point three six percentage of uh, the uh, nominal return. Okay. Uh, rest mm -hmm. all actually this question I was a little bit I was shaky in this question. No, I didn't solve it fully. Sure, you can just check my art YouTube videos. It's available there. All right. Yes. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. So how you have to give yourself marks right now is I've got four requirements and eight marks. So two marks per requirement. Okay. Yes, friends. Can I go to the next part now? All right. Next question. That is question number six. Oh, I think they have given a wrong solution here by mistake. Oh, but I've changed that up. Okay. Three, six, four, eight, nine, seven. This question is done in my class. Normally, when I do it in class, I do it in first part. Will be forward and money market. Last one is going to be currency options. Then we do it separately. So this is a six mark question. So what you do is give one mark for forward cover, two marks for money market, and three marks for currency options. Now the right answer. Can some of my regular students or crash students please help me out? I think by mistake, my team has uploaded the wrong suggested answer over there. Two, three, five, one, zero, six, something like that will be the answer. Let me just check if uh, Vina's answer is done right. Twelve thousand five hundred spot rate two three six one zero three. That's correct. Money market three six four eight nine seven. For this, you should do this investment. Well written two three six five one zero. That is also correct. And currency option, you get seventeen contracts. Vina, good job. You remember the answers very well. Two two eight three eight zero. No 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 no. Something wrong here. I don't remember two two eight three eight zero. Just somebody confirm. Anybody who has a regular material note, please confirm. Thirteen zero six three is correct. Four fifty seven is correct. How much? Two two eight one six five point one three. I think. Okay, no, but all the rest of the things are correct. Two one two is correct. I think you haven't taken the unhedged portion in forward. Have you taken that? Three six four one point seven two one four twelve thousand seventeen seventeen contracts. Three six one two five zero number under forward. There is a difference yeah. because of uh, interest on premium. I took the interest on premium four fifty seven in the. That's correct. That's correct. 
थ्री सिक्स फोर सेवन इज करेक्ट थ्री सिक्स वन टू फाइव जीरो इज करेक्ट सो दैट विल बी टू वन टू फाइव डबल जीरो फॉरवर्ड यू टेक वन पॉइंट वन डिवर टू थ्री और दिस आर करेक्ट दिस नंबर्स आर करेक्ट मे बी दिस आंसर इज राइट मे बी आई डोंट रिमेंबर द फाइनल नंबर टू वन टू फाइव हंड्रेड इज राइट थर्टीन जीरो डबल सिक्स थ्री इज फाइव फोर फिफ्टी सेवन इज करेक्ट फॉरवर्ड टू थ्री सिक्स जीरो ऑल्सो इज वॉट आई रिमेंबर फॉरवर्ड यू विल बी बाई बिड रेट करेक्ट फाइव फोर फाइव फाइव This answer is right. Two two eight three eight zero is correct. It's just a rounding of difference that is running in my mind. Okay, fine. So this sir, is the right answer. Just one doubt in this question. Come again? Yeah. Uh, just one doubt in this question, sir. Yeah. So instead of forward, if you are going to go for no hedge. Okay. Then, uh, can we take the balance, the unhedged portion divided by the strike rate which is given? Uh, I you have to take the forward spot rate, but I don't think that's given in the question, right? Yes, sir. There is no first portrait on expiry given in the question. Correct. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You cannot take that. Okay. All right. Okay, sir. Okay. So, friends, give marks like this: one mark for forward, two marks for money market, and three marks for currency options. Sir, then I will get three marks in this. Sir, the currency option, uh, the value is incorrect for me, sir. Then you give. I... <laughs> no, we have to be very strict here, Anirudh. No use yes, sir, yes, passing sir. here and you know getting stuck in the exam. All right, better we stuck get stuck here. Correct. Yeah, exactly, sir. Exactly. Ansa, did you get it right? You look worried. Currency option is wrong, sir. Currency option gone wrong, is it? No problem. Okay. Next, can I go to the next question now? Question number seven. So okay. question on yen. Three thousand four hundred lakh yen, eighteen percent interest. All right. Okay. So considering this, one minute. Okay, here they are asking two options. One option you can you know take the offer in India, or you can take the offer in uh, Japan. All right, three marks each. This is option one. You take in India, you end up paying one zero nine two. Option two, you take up in Osaka branch, you end up paying one thousand six. So option two is better. Three marks each. Let me check how Vina has done it. One zero nine two is correct. Great job, Vina. Your answer is right. Vina, one suggestion here. Quarter two, we have taken forty seven zero twenty five. Correct. But study material unfortunately has not done compounding over here. The answer in study material is not correct. Okay, but that's how they have done it. So I'm just making you aware of that. Exam, you do it like this. That's more than enough. But sometimes they will look at the SM answers and they will give marks. But that's logically actually incorrect. See what they have done is they have taken directly no compounding for the second part. Directly point nine has been taken. Okay. They're giving an assumption is enough for this. Better to give an assumption, yes. Okay, sir. Excuse me, sir. Yes, tell me. Ah, uh, so for the previous question where we are finding the currency option, right? Okay. Yeah. So instead of taking for forward, I had taken it at uh, you know no hedge, taking strike price as the future rate. So if that is wrong, then how how many marks can I allot? Okay, that that that, that comes for how many marks? That comes for three marks, right? I told you. Yes. It's a strike of one mark. Okay, sir. All right. Right. Thank you. Anirudh, I think you have done this answer correctly. The second part you have went wrong. You didn't complete the second part, correct? The second part. Well, actually, the confusion is for the commission they are taking a loan, sir. Correct. For the commission amount they are taking loan exactly, no, sir. Ah, uh, commission amount exactly they are taking loan exactly. Yes. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. There's way I stuck up there and I uh, for the time being I start next question, sir. That's why I left there actually. <laughs> I will improve on this, sir. Sure, sure. Leave three marks. Okay. <laughs> Take it as a very good opportunity, Anirudh. All mistakes learned here only. Nothing left for learning in the exam. Correct. There you go and you exactly. give a best score. Okay. Sure, sir. 
best thing of best way of learning is friends by making mistakes my whole life i have only made mistakes and i have learned only by mistakes so the only problem is our human psychology is such that the moment we make some mistakes we become demoralized but in reality when we make mistakes is the time when we actually learn when everything is right 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 you don't learn much so understand that mistakes are a very crucial part of your life not only now exams are only one step friends you go into practice life or you get into a job you make a blunder there imagine how much embarrassed you will feel i have had beautiful memories of you know being a chartered accountant and making mistakes in front of bcom graduates also so never bother that that's how you learn and you overcome that okay now next question question number 10 it is done no sir 8 and 9 i couldn't do that you swallowed 8 and 9 veena don't do all that okay this is a question on gdr so gdr let me see anirudh has done you can say it also sir you also swallowed amazing team work here <laughs> sir actually when we are the the learning i have done is when i am writing answers in detail uh, i am guess time is getting swallowed actually but anirudh you attended my face to face crash recently no this question i did on the last exactly. day, that is 3 days back yes sir exactly you done in last day but apart from this question that question i was having latest memory actually the okay. probability question i was having that good memory so that okay. i could easily solve it and at this juncture i was having only one hour sir actually half of the portion was come in the remaining actually so pressure so that only i was in a hurry bury okay okay no problem no problem no problem. i think you, i hope you understood we are into improve on this okay write this paper once again all right Yes. Sure, sir. Sure, sir. Okay. Definitely. So here, see, this question is a question on GDR. I have done in my regular classes. If you are my regular student, you will be knowing this. But uh, you have to practice. Whether you attend my class or no, ultimately your solution lies in you know practicing these questions again and again. So here you get the answer as there are two requirements. If I am not wrong, one is the number of GDR. Second one is cost. Total four marks. Give two marks each. Okay. Can I go to the next one? Yes. Next is which question? Question number nine is a question on software development. All right. So question directly from your study material. It was a pass examination question also. Okay. Rupee dollar rate is forty eight. So I think it's a four mark question. There's only one requirement. to do the calculation properly you get full four marks or you get zero marks this is a calculation this table that's it revenue cost profit etc over if by chance you are ready correct till earnings after tax and you get the withholding amount wrong you can give yourself no they won't give you any marks give zero then if you are not got it fully right you get zero or you get full four marks okay so yeah uh, in this question uh, when we Are taking the total of profit. Okay. Uh, why are we not considering the profit in USA as well? We are considering the profit in USA. We are not considering because from India to USA it is ten uh, million dollar billing. USA yes, is buying at ten million dollar and selling at twelve million dollar. They make a two million dollar there. Indian company is making a profit of how much? Four point seven. Seven is ultimately what they are getting. So their cost in India turns out to be how much? Five point two six eight. That is ten minus four point seven. It's around five point three is what you get over here. Understood? Okay. 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 That's what they have told us. They are telling that the cost is five point three, and our revenue is twelve. So it's advisable to sell. That's how they have given in the end. Okay. 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 So because I have considered along with the profit of USA as well, so I got it as six point seven. Understood. So I'll just reduce marks for that. Six point seven. One minute. So that is to how much? Twelve minus five point three. Six point seven is correct. Okay, sir. But see, that's what they have done. You read the last sentence. The cost of development is five point three, and they expect to sell the software at twelve. So, what is twelve minus five point three? Six point seven. Six point seven. Yeah, it's correct. Okay. 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 But if you find out the Indian profit separately, US profit separately. Uh, yes, sir. Okay, so it will be four point seven plus two. Plus two. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I think nine is also done. Ten is a question on two-stage binomial model. We have done a similar type question in class, friends. All right. Let's see, Vina, have you done this? I D U D. Yes, seventy-seven percent, fifteen point. Where is the decision tree, Vina? 
The deficiency is given in the question, right? Oh, okay, okay. So you have not uh, done that, is it? You can put it in the basic data. Actually, this forms part of your solution. That's okay. If you have not done it also, absolutely fine. Let me check what is the answer for this question. 11.69. Did you get that answer? You got 12.89. Something has gone wrong. Please cross check somewhere you have gone wrong. You should get 14.69 at the first level. Did you get that? You got 15.54. Did you do the present value? You have not done the present value. No, sir, I didn't do that. Yeah, it should be, you know, CU into ID UD plus CD into UI UD whole divided by I. That part is missing in your answer. So, Veena, so sorry, zero marks. Anirudh, you have not tried only. Okay, next question. Question number 11. 11 is a question on uh, futures to take a loss in short position, etc. Uh, sir, the tenth question I have tried, sir. Actually, you, in the previous page, it is available, sir. Is it? You have seen the last page. Okay, here is it. Okay, okay. You got the answer is eleven point six nine. Wait, I think that's the right answer. Great job. Uh, your answer is right. You can give yourself full marks for this. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir. I think I missed out your answer. Okay. Yes, sir. Mm, yeah. Fine. Now I'll take question number sixteen. Is what you have done next? Is it? Yes, sir. Year eleven. So if there's a rounding of difference, it's not an issue. Not an issue at all. Hmm? Thank you. Sir. Okay, the one lakh seventy three thousand. You have made a table. Forty thousand comes up. Okay, and here you again get profit minus forty thousand. Net loss will be eighteen thousand. All right. I think your answer is right. Let me check the suggested answer. Forty. Minus 18,000. Perfect. If you've gone for a short selling, it will be plus 18,000. Excellent. Veena, you can give yourself full marks for this question. Anirudh, have you done that question? I think you missed that, skipped that question, right? Sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. No issues. It's an eight mark question. You've got three requirements. There are, I think, three tables are there. Okay, so you give two marks for the first one, then three and three. So two marks, three marks, three marks. Okay. Please, for a suggested answer, sir. The suggested answer, please. One minute, relax. This one? Yes. I was drinking water. Sorry, I didn't see, so. This is the first one. Okay. This is the second one. Third one. All right. So I think we are done with this question also. Question number 12. You are having three requirements. How to hedge perfect hedging. Then how the following Nifty goes up or Nifty comes down. Is it possible stock as well as Nifty to raise or fall at the same percentage? Okay, last one is the theory part. So you give three marks for the first two questions and two marks for the last one. So let's take market exposure S0 into beta into 100%. Fine. Beta of Nifty and stock will not be the same. Hence, it's not possible that stock and Nifty to raise or fall at the same percentage. Over, sir, is it? Sir, in that question, I think there's a mistake. Is it? 1,75,000 is given as the value. The Nifty futures are quoting at 1,75,000. Oh, it should be 17,500, is it? Oof. Okay. And then into 50. Okay. So that would have given you a very, very big number, is it? So friends, yes, question sir, is wrong. Understand. Question is wrong. So you get uh, grace marks for this question. All right. Uh, if you have taken, how do we give grace marks here? Do one thing. Don't give marks for this one question. We'll proportionate it and convert into 100 and do it. All right. Okay. So just ignore this question. I think one zero has become more here. 
Yes. Then you have 13. What are the reasons for stock index futures becoming more popular derivatives in India? That's a theory. Let's go and check. It adds flexibility, blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of nine points are given in your material. Let's just see. So, Veena, you have skipped that question? Yes, sir. Anirudh, even you have skipped that question, right? Okay. If you have written this for, you know, this question has come for four marks, you give eight points. Every point you get for half mark. Okay. Mr. Daksh is importing a missionary. This is similar to the Osaka branch question, friends. Eight marks. Two requirements are there. So you can give four, four marks each. Exactly same like that question. So question number 14. I think you have not done that also, Veena. No, sir, I did that. Yeah, right. Okay. So you get payable as 12 lakh 34, 413. That's correct. 11 lakh 78, 894. Great job, Veena. Your answer is right. I think that's just a rounding off difference. You can give yourself full marks for this. Okay. Good job. Then comes, uh, can I go to the next question, friends? Um, sir. Yeah. In this question, could you please explain the next uh, question? Like they asked about hedging, right? Correct. Uh, so, could you please explain that? Which which question are you talking about? A uh, question fourteen, the second uh, requirement. Based on the present market scenario, the company is not interested to take the risk of currency fluctuations, and they want to hedge with an additional expense of thirty thousand. If so, what is your advice to the company? So now here they want to do hedging. All right, how do you do hedging in this case? It can be done based on forward contract. Am I right? So yes, how you normally check that is, you know, if you don't hedge, you pay some money. If you hedge, you pay some particular money. Correct. So once you hedge, that extra benefit that you get should be worth or more than the 30,000 rupees that's given over here. Okay. Understood? Let's check the solution they have told. Yes. So now here, for example, when you take the forward here, you're paying 12 lakh 34, you're paying 11 lakh 78. What is the difference between these two things? I think this one, you're taking a loan in India. This one, you're paying after that period at a forward rate. So how have they done it? Companies not interested to take the risk of currency fluctuations and wanted to hedge. And then it can do so because even taking forward position is resulting in increased cash outflow by the same amount. See, I'm not sure how they have got this comment, but you can always say that hedging is always good because it will cover up the extra cost. You can give a sentence like that over there. All right. Hmm? Okay. Sir. I'm not sure how they got the exact outflow amount. That part you can ignore. Okay. Okay. Sir. Then you have FCCB, foreign convertible bonds. They're asking you theory on that. Okay. This is a type of bond issued by the domestic currencies. And they have given all the explanation about FCCB over here. Three points are given. This question has come for four marks. I would suggest you put four points if possible. Okay. Yes. Next question number 16 is a question on future hedging. Nifty future tradable. You are having three requirements, eight marks. You give one mark for the beta. It's easy. You can give, uh, sorry, two marks for the beta, two marks for requirement two, and four marks for requirement number three. That's a perfect hedging question. So you get overall beta as 1.102. Theoretical future price, you get it as 8935. And then you do a perfect hedging. You get three contracts or you get six contracts. Let me check. 1.102, 8935. 2 lakh 21,000 and 5 contracts. I think Veena, you got the answer right. 5 and you have got 3. Perfect. They have taken 6, you have taken 5. You have rounded off 6, you have also got 6. Correct. So Veena, you can give yourself full marks for this question. Okay. Last, I think, is a theory problem. Question number 17. What write a short note on money market hedging? You can very easily write a note on money market hedging, friends. 
Veena has written left and right. She will get full marks. How many marks is there? Veena, write down point by point, okay? That's four marks. Write down point by point. At least write eight points over there. All right? Okay, sir. Anirudh, did you do that? So Hi, sir. Okay, fine. Yes, friends. So I think I'm done with the whole paper. Can you please correct it and tell me how much marks you have got? Just put it in the chat box. Friends, as promised, we have done three papers now. Fourth mega exam is coming on October 10th. Entire SFM in one place. But friends, I'm worried that people are slowly, slowly coming down. We started with almost 300 people. Now only 35, 40 students are attending. Please, I request you all to continue this mentoring. Don't stop it in between. I understand the pressure of other subjects might have come up. Answer, it's on 10th or 18th. What was the date announced? I think it was 10th, right? I don't know, sir. I think it's 18. I don't mind keeping it on 18, but will that become too late? Yeah, maybe. Let's have it on 10th. Anyways, you're ready. You've done three exams so far, no? 10th October, we'll keep the final exam. Okay? Yes. Please correct your papers and please send your marks in the chat box. Don't worry about how much marks you have got. Exactly 40. You can send it as personal message to me also if you feel so. Just give me, let me know the marks right away now. So the 14th one, there was some extra cost out to H. So how many marks for that? Let me check. Fourteenth one, that's the second requirement, right? Do one thing, just give a two marks for the last requirement. So say number 14, it's eight marks, right? Three marks, three marks you give for the first two options and two marks for the final requirement, okay? Veena, you got 52. Priyanka, solving cherry metal questions alone is enough for scoring exemption. That's okay, Sopna. Veena, 52 is good marks. But you can score better. I request all of you to do the paper once again. Alright? Until you score an 85 or 90, keep doing it. Get a grip on one paper. Sarvamangala, you got 44. Good job. Anirudh, you got 35. That's good marks considering the number of questions you have left. So imagine if you can do a 100 mark question, you will definitely get a 65. Harishankar, you got 42.5, you attempted 60. So imagine Harishankar, had you attempted a 100 marks, what would have been a scenario? Sahela, 56. Good job. Others also, please let me know. Agalya, Ashwini, Achaya. Many of you did not write the paper. You just came to check how I'm correcting the paper, is it? Please don't give me marks. You should score marks. Vaishnavi, 91% is fantabulous. Everyone, please give her a good clap. Excellent job, Vaishnavi. Keep it up. Thank you, sir. Brilliant. Others, please do check and tell me your marks also.
Dakshinamurti, no problem. Do it again until you get 60, 70, 80. All right. Kesia, do it again. 40 is good. Achaya, no worries. Do it once again. All right. Dakshinamurti, if you are lacking behind, you have to give some extra time to the concepts. My free concept videos are available in my app. You can always use that. Sarvamangala, you got 44 out of 60. So if you take a proportion into 100, we will get a different level. Ansa, that's absolutely fine. Do it again, Ansa. And make sure that you go up to 80, 85. All right. This exam pressure we learned to, we need to handle. Yes, Sarva Mangala, you made some really silly mistakes, but you did it before the examination. That is more important. Had you not done it today, you would have done it right in the examination hall. Perfect. Yes, friends. So I think we can pack up our session now. iPhone, you got 40 out of 52 marks attempted. Good job, iPhone. I don't know what's your name. It's coming as iPhone here. Harishankar, the previous exams, I will have to go and add you all. If you just message me, I will add you. Okay. Maybe not immediately. I'll add you soon, but okay. All right. So I think I'll pack up my session now, friends. I think we are done with today's paper. All right. Thank you so much for your patient listening, friends. Study well. Do this paper once again. Let us score 60 plus in the upcoming exam. Okay. You have written some of the tough papers. If you are able to pass these exams, SFM final exam would be easy because we have done it at a very, very tough level. Okay. So don't get demoralized if your marks are low. Write down again until you score 80 plus and then take it forward. Okay. Thank you so much, friends. Have a nice time. Take care. Good night. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Thank you.